I got one. Which part of your game do you think you've improved the most from last year to now? Uh, I would say definitely my pass catching. Uh, that was a big emphasis I wanted to work on. I feel like I dropped too many passes last year, too many opportunities. So that's one part of my game I wanted to work on off season the most. And uh, also, you know, just get better at pass blocking. What kind of stuff were you doing pass catching wise? Just working with the jug machines? Uh, jug doing? machines, you know, having the quarterbacks throw to me, uh, you know, however I can catch the ball. Did you have people like back home throwing to you, things like oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back home, you know, throwing to me, uh, my old quarterbacks, you know, uh, whenever, you know, uh, like me and Jimmy could go somewhere, you know, go off the, you know, from the facility, go catch at a, you know, local high school or something, we would do it, so. How's it been being reunited with Jerry? Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, it's very rare that same position you guys get to play in the NFL together, especially going, you know, the to school together and playing together. So uh, when he got the call, you know, first time person he was uh, called was me, FaceTime me, and you know we were excited, and uh, you know we can't wait for the season. How has he changed since you guys were in school together? Same guy, same guy. Uh, it's funny all the time, you know, hard worker. Uh, he's always here very early. He makes sure, you know, big part of his game is pass blocking, and he takes pride in it, not even carrying the ball, you know. And um, you know, I learned from him. You know, I look up to him. Uh, you know, he's like a mentor to me. Some people might look at you guys and say, you know, similar size, same school, that you're very similar, but it seems like you have maybe complementary styles. How, how do you feel like your games complement each other? Uh, like I said, I say uh, Jarek's a great pass blocker, you know. Uh, he gets in there, he makes amazing catches. That's one of the, uh, the part of my games that I'm trying to get to where he's at. He's a great uh, catcher out of the backfield. And, you know, I feel like him doing that and me being able to run the ball well, um, you know, I feel like that complements each other very well. So, uh, you know, like I said, I think we got something great going here. You said uh, your old quarterbacks when you, when you go home, throw to you, you mean at, at from college? Oh, uh, yeah, from college, uh, from my high school. You know, I get with a bunch of group of guys. Whoever can throw the ball to me, you know, uh, you know, I basically get them out there. You know, it's a matter of how many catches I can, you know, get in a day, um, you know, working on my routes and stuff like that. So whenever I get a chance to catch the ball, I'm out there. Do you have, like, a text chain with all your old quarterbacks? Or Say it again? Do you have, like, a text chain with all your old quarterbacks? Or oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> For 190 pounds, it seems like you run. I'm 200 now. You're 200 now? Yeah. <laughs> we got to get, get that correct. Cheese. We got to get the correct on this thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm 200 now. I gained some weight. Okay, so it was it important for you to, to gain some yeah. weight? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. You know, especially with this game at this level, you know, you want to put on an extra couple of pounds, be able to take the hits, and, you know, just be more physical. Do you feel like you're more confident this time uh, this year? I know Kyle said he sees more confidence in you. Do you feel that way? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, uh, his offense is crazy to learn, you know. And me being uh, coming in there, you know, as a rookie and being thrown right into the fire, you know, it was kind of, you know, overwhelming at first. And, you know, your second year round, you understand the offense, you understand why we're doing things, the concept's better. So I feel, you know, 10 times more comfortable out there than I did last year. Was it hard for you to gain weight? And, and how did you go about doing that? Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily too hard for me to gain weight. As a matter of fact of, uh, you know, me keeping it on is the hard part. Um, you know, I just went about it, you know, just, you know, getting in the gym more, lifting more weights, eating the right things, you know, changing my diet, making sure I eat healthier, and, uh, you know, just taking in the right protein and stuff like that. You mentioned how, how good of a pass catcher Jarek is. Mm -hmm. how, how did he develop that? Did you see that in him, like, when he was coming up? Like, how did he get to where he is as a pass catcher? Uh, to be honest with you, he always had that. Since day one, since I got to George Southern, uh, that's one thing I noticed that uh, with him. Uh, he played quarterback. And, you know, um, you know, they had him at receiver. He also played DB in uh, one game. And he caught, like, three interceptions in college. He always had great hands. And, uh, like I said, he always just tells me, you know, whenever you get a chance, just catch footballs. And, you know, I'm trying to, you know, do everything I can do to be as great as he is. Did you have much contact with him during the free agent process? Uh, you know, we talked a little bit or whatever. You know, he had some, you know, other interests from other places. But when he got his opportunity, you know, he, uh, he loved, you know, the offense. And he thought it was a great opportunity for us to play together again. You mentioned how hard it is, you know, as a rookie coming into this scheme. When you see rookies and they're, you know, coming into camp, what kind of advice do you try to offer them, or how do you try to help now that you've got that experience? Uh, I just tell them, you know, play as hard as you can. If you make a mistake one play, uh, get out of your head because you got another play coming right up. And you know, they're more so evaluating, you know, how hard you know you work and uh, you know how hard you play in the football field. If you go out there and you know you mess up, you know they understand that you're a rookie. But what are you going to do to bounce back from that? Are you going to keep making the same mistakes, or are you going to learn from them and get better? Be be coachable. I tell them. Uh, Kyle talked about how Richard Sherman wasn't afraid in his first rep to go against Marquise Goodwin uh, in one on one, and obviously he got beat. But you know he didn't care. He's trying to get better in, in practice. And, um, did that message resonate with you at all, whether just about Richard or, or just not being afraid to? I think that resonated with everybody. You know, um, when you're going against you know the, some of the best athletes in the world, that's going to happen. You're going to get beat sometimes. 
but it's what you do after that play, you know. Uh, you know, Richard, he didn't give up on the play. He kept on running. And, you know, I know in the game that it's going to help Richard get better, and he's going to make those big plays. So, like I said, it's all about how you respond after that, and uh, Richard responded in a great way. All right, guys. Thanks, Matt. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you.